You know I love it when a movie defies my expectations. So Creed stars Michael B. Jordan as Apollo Creed's son and Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa. Now when I first like heard this movie was coming out, I just rolled my eyes because I was thinking he could not be seriously be making another Rocky movie. I mean Stallone is already like, he was pushing it with Rocky 6. I mean I was like, you gotta stop Stallone, you gotta know when to stop. I mean, The Expendables is one thing, but I mean, just coming back and keep doing Rocky over and over again is ridiculous. But after seeing that the direction that they were going with this movie, I actually got really interested. That I thought that was a really great concept, like, you know, Rocky training Apollo Creed's son, and, and you know, I really liked that, and I was like, okay, maybe this would be a good movie and everything. It was beyond good. It was great. I was surprised how good this movie was. I really was. I didn't have, I'm not going to say I had low expectations for this movie, but I had expectations enough to where I was expecting a good movie. Like, yeah, it was great. I loved the camera work, the cinematography, everything about it. It was the first movie in a while that really captured the grit of Rocky, the real grittiness of it all. I mean, it, the world of boxing is a gritty world, and they really captured it in this movie, which was something that I really loved that the first Rocky movie did. I love Sylvester Stallone's performance in this movie. He did such a great job. This is one of his best performances in years. I didn't think that Sylvester Stallone was capable of the kind of acting that he had when he did the original Rocky movie. He was so great in this movie, and so was Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, like, I mean, the, I know I keep focusing on Stallone, but that's just because like, it is a Rocky movie. But really, Michael B. Jordan, he is a main character, and he is great. I mean, he completely erased fan four stick off of his resume. You just take that off, Michael B. Jordan. He did such a great job in this movie, and I really look forward to seeing him in movies to come. This movie really, like, brings you back to the way the original fell. I mean, it, it feels like a Rocky movie. Pretty much every movie in the Rocky series after 3, with the exception of maybe 6, like, they all feel like, they don't feel like Rocky movies. They're still fun movies, but they, they still, they're just, they don't have the same heart and feeling that the original Rocky did. And this is the first one that brings that back. Plus, it feels like it's a real, like, you feel like you're really watching a boxing match, which is something that the original Rocky movie did great. The fights were really great the way they did it. I love the way they introduced like fighters in this movie and I love the way that they like set everything up like the camera work is really good. One fight there's a round that is shot all in one one take. It's just the camera it pans around them as they're fighting and they fight on and off the camera and then it just pans back around to and follows Michael B. Jordan as he sits back in his corner and he's got a big cut on his face and everything. That is great. That's what I love about this movie. Overall I really don't have anything bad to say about the movie. I really liked it more than I thought I would and like to me like I really think it's one of the best movies of the year. I really liked it and I know you guys would too. I definitely give it a 2C because it's a punch out. Get it? Punch out? Because, okay, I'll shut up now. So yeah, this is a movie I wanted Southpaw to be. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.